Overnight here. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Civil Defense dosimeters and their corresponding charger, the CDV750. So, there were many of these manufactured different models. I happen to have the CDV742, which is probably the least useful in everyday life because of its range of anywhere between 0 and 200 Rentkins. So if you look through it, it'll show you your accumulated dose. That'll be on screen now. Now what you'd do is you'd unscrew the protective cover from the case. And then you'd just put this on, press down until you see the light through this, and you'd look here. And then you'd adjust this knob until the hairline is on zero and then your dosimeter would be charged and ready to go. Now on a side note, I would not advise getting a CDV742. I would advise getting a CDV138 because it has a range of 0 through 200 millirentkins per hour, which is a more usable rate. Now Let's take a look inside of the CDV750. These were built very sturdy. They're in a metal case. And they operate on 1D battery. They have a spare light bulb right here. And that's in case this one burns out. That lights up the dosimeter. And inside there is also a schematic, which is fairly simple. An electronics novice could easily repair this if necessary. They are very rugged. Now they did have a different a few different models of the CDV750. Uh, this is the most common one, and if you're looking on eBay you'll most likely find this one. Now, they did make one in the 90s, which was shaped like a gun, and it was piezoelectric, which means it didn't need batteries. All you'd do is squeeze the trigger, and the trigger would uh, generate the voltage needed to charge it. Alright, so the difference between this dosimeter and a Geiger counter such as the CDV700 or a survey meter such as the CDV715 would be that uh, this shows you your accumulated dose while those would show you a dose rate like Rentkin per hour and this one would just show Rentkin. So, yeah. Also, what they'd actually do is they'd hand these to people, and they'd say, come back here before this reads a certain dosage. Alright, so that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Bye.